Hello. Welcome to this module on visualizing data as charts in Google Fusion Tables. In this lesson, we'll learn how to review your data in the form of charts and how to edit the appearance of these charts. The chart function summarizes data into a chart format similar to what can be done in Excel. Here we are in the Google Fusion Table application. We have already imported our data into Google Fusion Tables. To start, add a new tab in your Fusion Table. Select this red plus, choose Add Chart, and now you have a chart pulling from the data that you imported into Fusion Tables. On this left bar, you can select the format of your chart. Let's choose this column chart. Here I see my chart. It is showing HIV prevalence among females of all ages from the ANC 2010. These are the districts in Mpumalanga from my data set. From this left bar, you can configure the attributes of your chart. Category identifies the different columns in your chart. So here we are showing districts. Values are the contents of your chart. I would like to show HIV prevalence from 2010, 2011, and 2012. If I do not see the indicator in this list that I wish to display on my chart, I can select Choose, and then choose from the list of all indicators. Under Sort By, I can choose the order in which the columns appear. For example, if I choose HIV prevalence 2010, these columns are ordered from lowest HIV prevalence in 2010 to highest HIV prevalence in 2010. I'm going to keep of alphabetical order for districts. I can also change the appearance of my chart. If I choose Change Appearance, I can make changes in this left bar that will change the appearance of my chart overall. So first, I want to add a title to my chart. I'm showing HIV prevalence among females of all ages in Pumalanga, South Africa, from ANC 2010 to 2012. Now I have a title. I can also move the location of my legend. So right now it's on the right. I could put it on the top or remove the legend altogether. I would like my legend on the right. Here I can change the font of my table, also the background color, for example, yellow. I will keep my table white. Under Features, I can adjust the type of columns being displayed. So for example, Stack. I now have bars stacked on top of each other. Axis will add a title and adjust the font for my axes. So if I choose Horizontal here, I can add a title for my horizontal axis. I'll type District. I can change the font to be bold. If I change this to vertical, now I'm adding the title for my vertical axis. I will write HIV prevalence in a percentage. I can adjust the minimum and maximum bounds for that axis and also the font. Series. I can adjust the appearance of the specific series or column in my chart. So for HIV prevalence 2010, currently it's blue, I could change that to green. Or for example, if I want to instead adjust HIV prevalence 2012 to be purple, I can do that as well. When I'm happy with the appearance of my chart, I select OK. Now I see my final chart. As you may have noticed, you can scroll your cursor over the bars to see the specific values. So this bar represents HIV prevalence in 2010 in Ethlenzani. 
the value is 37.7. This concludes the lesson on visualizing data in Google Fusion tables as charts. Thank you.